Hello, I'm Lawrence. Welcome to the BBC News School Report. Today, Dylan came back from Canada to talk to us about his very close victory in the Pee Wee Under 13s tournament. Corey, the Under 17s Manchester United player, was interviewed by Faith to learn about her football life. We learn about students from other countries in Ashton, and finally, Emory and Noel presented the weather in England. Hello, and welcome to the BBC School Report. I'm Faith. And I'm Leisha. We are going to investigate what school life is like with people from overseas. We spoke to our head teacher, Mr Maloney, to find out how he feels about having such a range of different nationalities at his school. Can we learn anything new from these people who lived elsewhere? I think there's loads to learn from people who've got different experiences. I think we're, we can celebrate where people come from. We can identify that their cultures and backgrounds might be different and we should welcome that because there's so much to learn from children who've had different life experiences. Hi, my name is Noel. I was born in Argentina but lived 10 years in Spain and now I'm living in Manchester and I decided to ask others like me how they feel about living and studying in Manchester. Why did you move to Manchester? I moved to Manchester because I wanted to learn the English and I wanted to do the GCSEs. How did you find settling in at school? It was quite fun because the teachers were really nice. Um, it was easy with the school support, with the language and... Yeah. How did you find settling in at school? Um, it was really nice because all the teachers were really nice and all didn't care where you came from, they just treated you like everybody else. I've learned that here in Manchester is a lot safe because there are not that many crimes going on. What else have you learned? Well, here they're not that strict, strict and the teacher cares about the, pupil, the pupils and how they feel. After meeting the range of different nationalities, he spoke to Corey, the under-17s football player for the women's team at Manchester United. Today we are interviewing Corey about her life as a female footballer. She competes with all the different teams and we are going to be asking her questions about her life and football. Let's go and find out more. I'm Corey, I play for Manchester United on the 17s. I play right and left back and right and left wing. How does football affect your everyday life? I have to work around the school work, with training and games, but I figure out how to do it in the best way possible. How do you feel about being on the women's football team and why? It's amazing, like, the experiences I have, the people I meet, the new players that I meet, and it's just amazing. Have you ever considered not being on the team and why? I have. Last year I broke my leg and I started to give up and not believe in myself and they told me to never give up and just to carry on. Did you ever think you would be a footballer? Never. I just started playing football with a boys team when I was four and then from then I've just been carrying it on. Corey may have had her fair share of sporting action but so has Dylan. Our international hockey player who visited Canada for the Pee Wee tournament. Our school is full of, full of amazing people, such as Dylan in year 8, who brought his heart and ice hockey all the way to Canada. Hi, my name is Dylan Lenny. I'm in year 8 and I play ice hockey for Bradford Bulldogs and uh, England under 13 ice hockey team. How did you first get into ice hockey? I got into ice hockey by first when I was three, I started skating and I got into the sport by just my dad taking me to uh, Monday night sessions. What do you enjoy most about ice hockey? One of the funniest sports in the world and you can play a lot around the country. What are your greatest achievements in the sport? Well, one of my greatest achievements was this year when I played in under 13 England ice hockey team in Canada. What are your future plans? Uh, my future plans are to get drafted in the NHL or play in the Elite League Ice Hockey League. Thank you. It may have been cold in Canada, but what will the weather be like in England? Over to Emory and Noel for for the weather. Hello, I am Emery. And I am Noel. It is Thursday morning. And this, this is, is BBC Weather Report. Report. I've, got a, I've got good news today and that it's not going to rain in Manchester. Finally! Today's coldest temperature will be 3 degrees and the hottest will be 8 degrees. Well, it won't be that hot, but the wind will be racing south at 3 miles per hour. Uh, that wouldn't be really that fast, would it? 
through. We can also see that today's sunset will be at 6.05 p.m. The sky currently is also now visible, but later it will be moderate. This is from the BBC School Weather Report. We hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye. Thank you for joining us today, Ashton, on Mersey BBC School Report Day. We hope to see you next year.